Hello everyone, my name is Jay Michelle and welcome to my Simniverse. Today we're going to be doing a highly requested tutorial on Relight. Now, disclaimer, before you follow this tutorial, I don't want y'all to be disappointed. You do have to pay for Relight. It is an add-on for G-Shade and Reshade. It does not come free. You go to this person's Patreon, I don't know how to pronounce their name. Once you go to their page, you pay for the subscription. And once you get subscribed, it will allow you to go to their Discord server and download the files from there. You plop that into your G Shade folder and you should be set. If you need a detailed tutorial, it will be one um, down in the description bar below. So don't even worry about that, I got you. But I just wanted to show off my Sims before I get started because they will be a part of my Let's Play, my future Let's Play. This is Zoe Patel. She is a pre-made townie that comes with Oasis Springs, the base game. This is Desiree Levine, Levine, tomato, potato, you get it, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, this is one of my other Sim Self's best friends. Real cutie, real cutie. And this is my Sim Self, J. Michelle, as y'all saw. Very cutesy, very cutesy. She is that girl. She is everything to me. I love her. And this is Roman Reigns. If y'all know who Roman Reigns is, y'all some real ones. He is a WWE superstar. He's that WWE superstar. The OTC, the Tribal Chief. Y'all get it. All of them are going to be a part of my Let's Play Oasis. And it should be coming out in the future. Hopefully soon. But yeah, without further ado, we're going to jump into this tutorial. All right, after years of me trying to get the perfect angle and making sure the lighting is good with just the actual lighting itself in the house, because this is what this what this is what it looks like right here. Just normal, boom. And this is what it looks like with the relight. I'm not done yet, but yeah, that's what it looks like with the relight and without. But yeah, before you even start that, make sure y'all press Alt-5 and like reset your settings and then press Control-5 so y'all can um, freeze this frame. It's not going to be actually frozen, but it will use this as a preset. So if you do get out of angle, you can go back to that certain angle that you want. So now the fun part, the fun part. These are the settings that you can change around. You can play around with. Um, you can mess with the shadow sharpness. Um, you see, like you can make it super sharp or you can make it very soft. You can also change the Z, uh, the Z thickness. I think that determines um, like, how, like a, how you want it to be angled, the shadows, how you want it to be angled on your Sims, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. But think about this. How the f are you going to tell me? How are you going to tell me? To, how are you going to give me some pointers? And I'm trying to tell y'all, you know what? I'm doing the best I can, y'all. I'm doing the best I can. Another thing, too, before we even get started with the lighting. Down here, you can adjust the amount of lights. When you first open up Relight, I think there will be like one or two lights that you can have, but you can go in here and click on it and mark how many you want. You can only go up to four. Don't try to overdo it and then you make it to like eight and then your game crash because you try to think that you know what you're doing. And yeah, that's just, that's just a whole nother story. Been there, done that with a lot of my presets with certain other things like, yeah, you don't wanna do that. I'm just gonna say that if your game can't handle all these lights, just stick to two. But yes, now to the lighting. Now that we got the settings of how you want your sharpness to be and how many lights you want or how many lights you can handle with your PC, now we can get into the lighting. So I have four on mine. But I clicked all of them off because it's going to be too difficult for me to figure out what is going on. Because you put all of them on there and you already took another photo before this and you turn that sh on. You're going to get blinded for one and two, which is going to look crazy. You're going to be like, oh, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. 
But yeah, so with the lighting, I have mine to her back because I want the I want the the light to look like the tree is hitting her back, so to speak. One thing with relight, you have to make sure you look at all the lights in the room to make it more realistic. If there are lights showing in in your camera in the actually not camera but in the photo you want to make it seem like the lights are actually hitting where it needs to hit so for me you can either make the lights very close to your sims the bigger the light is the more it gives you like a soft light effect the farther away it is it either just it can disappear or it can go like I don't know if you can see it, but it's like hitting the Christmas tree and the table in the background. You can do that if you want the tree to look brighter, but I don't want that. You can also make it look like it's hitting her shoulder. That's beautiful too, and I will go a lot to you. So we can do that. And then you can change the intensity. But if you make the intensity too bright, then it's going to be a hot mess and it's going to be so bright that you can't even see the damn Christmas tree and the lighting will be too harsh on everybody as you can see. So how do I make the lighting look like it's sharp enough for her back? Um, like how can I make it look like it's really bright on her back? Um, what I will do is I will make it more close to her shoulder. Now there are these arrows right here for each one. You can hold down on the arrows to make it more um more detailed for a more detailed look um so just get precise with what you with the lighting that you want so for me it depends i could do that so i can hit zoe's face as well but to be honest with you she doesn't really need to get hit like that her face doesn't need to be hit like that so I can make it brighter, change it up a little bit. No, I don't want that. That's cute. I like that. And the Christmas tree doesn't look too overwhelming. I can turn it down a little bit. Perfect. Okay. Um. So with the second light, the second light that is that's already preset that one, so it's already checked. But you see how um, it looks like the. I'm gonna click this off right quick. You see how this light right here is hitting her it looks like the lights in the background on this left side is hitting her her head a little bit and also Desiree's arm it adds more realism to the lighting if I was to toggle that off it will look a little more dull it doesn't add that much dynamic into the photo it just makes it look more plain so in my eyes you do that it just I don't know it just makes it look more realistic I'm all about realistic lighting I love that about relight because you can do anything that you want with the lighting if you want to I use it for my videos that's a more that's a little bit more difficult I will not lie because your sims move and if you do fast-paced videos That'll be a little bit more difficult because it's going in and out of frame and depending on how you want your sims, how, how you want the lighting to hit your sims, it will sort of flicker in a way. So you really wouldn't want that. That's why I usually do like the, like the precise lighting on her, um, on her hair, on the back of her shoulders. I just saved that for the photos. I just gave up on the, the videos. But yeah, um, other than that, I don't think I need too much lighting. Um, I could add a little lighting um, over there. Now I'm trying to figure out, see right here, I can move the actual, once you, if you click on the top, you can move it around. That way you can see what you're doing. Um, I do this for SWRE as well. I actually shrink this down to my liking because if you don't do that then you won't be able to see the progress because swre is 
essentially making your game higher resolution than normal and it will sh literally just not show any of these settings it might show the top part but it won't show the bottom part so you have to shrink it down so you can adjust to your liking instead of having to click off of swre reset it to taskbar mode if you know what i'm talking about if you don't like i said it will be a uh, description down below um for everything that i'm talking about but you have to basically go back into taskbar taskbar mode and then adjust your settings and then do it again and that's just too much work i learned that i learned a little cheat code of mine so i'm just telling y'all that just in case if y'all want to use um relight and swre together which you can do so if y'all want a tutorial on that i have to figure out a way to do that but if y'all want me to do that just let me know in the comments and then i will definitely help y'all out with that but yeah for number three, I have a third lighting. Just in case if I wanted to add a little bit more pizzazz to it. Pizzazz, no penny. Anyway, um, uh, no, I ain't trying to joke too much. This is a tutorial. Calm down, calm down. But, um, yeah, for the third one, I wanted to seem like the light is hitting um, from the actual lamp a little bit more. Um, I mean, I can. See, I can even do it like that if you want it to be all warm. But if you want it to be a, like I have a dramatic shadow, I would not do this. Um, but like I said, I want dark and moody and a little bit warm. So I have to see what I can do with that. Um, depending on how, um, like I said, how far the, the, the little dot right there is, it can make for a beautiful back light backlighting like i did in my um oasis trailer thumbnail i will show it right here that right there was so beautiful and it was so unexpected because like i said i was just taking photos for the hell of it and that's what happened you know what i'm saying and i was like oh my gosh like this is very beautiful so yeah but i'm still trying to adjust and see what i want to do um i'm trying to see it See, now that's too bright. Now I have to do some little precision. Click hold on it. Um, it's already, hold on. Okay, now let me press this down. If I do want it, I will keep it. If not, I won't keep it because no point. See, that's what I was talking about. You can add um, some warmth to it a little bit you want that if you want to it both are beautiful but if you want that type of look you can um for this video i'm just going to add it because now it looks like it's hitting her little booty you know so like, and i don't know why the fuck i did that i don't know why i made that sound i am so sorry y'all i'm sorry youtube this is my first video i'm already acting out like what the what is going on anyway but yeah you see that it's hitting the edge of jay's glove it's hitting her little you know zoe little mini like mini little bbl she don't be good but you know what i'm saying and she got the ha the shadows hitting her beautiful hair and so and desiree is always also getting um hit from it well i think because it's hitting her forehead and stuff but yeah that's that and there you have it that's what i usually do this turned out very beautiful obviously when you go into swre the lighting is going to be different because it's more zoomed in and you will probably have to adjust that from there so that's why i always just make sure that i have the pose right I have the angle right and once i do that then i start to adjust things now like i said it would probably be different due to you know the angle will probably be different so you have to adjust that as well which is a whole nother story but you get you get my gist everything is going to have to be changed when you use swre so i would even recommend you doing this doing the settings like the, the lighting until you get into swre so you don't have to do this twice because this is a headache all right y'all that concludes today's video i hope you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it overall if you did please don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more tutorials and other videos to come as well as my let's play that is hopefully coming out sooner than later so with that being said i hope you have a merry christmas and happy holidays and i will see y'all in my next video bye guys